Hello, good morning guys. Okay, so new packs have come out and I know everyone's gonna be asking what do I put on the list? So let's go over what they are first. So SWC 2020 scrolls have come out. If you're familiar with the SWC scrolls, generally they're like a premium summoning stone rotation basically. They have two nat fives of each element and then two nat fours of each element. But this year we can actually create our own summon list. So for me, this is the list that I put together. Um, I'll show you guys really quick here. So you go in, click your SWC scroll, and click the gear, and then you can pick any monsters you want to put in here. Pretty cool, right? You can also check what you don't have, go from there. So as you can see, I already have mine set up, or for the units that I wanted. Um, but I want to go over generally good picks, depending on what kind of you know gameplay you're looking for, etc. Um, there's going to be a couple generic really, really good ones. So if you don't play RTA at all, just play PvE. The best ones to pick up are going to be combinations of Perna and Rika. And maybe, just maybe, you might want the Veladrol for the immunity. But I don't think it's as important as the Rika or the, um, or the Perna. The Perna is really good in Guild Wars and Siege for offense. It's okay in defense. Very good for Rift Dungeons. And honestly, just a fairly nice unit to just have and play around with. The Rika, unbelievable for TOA, TOA Hard, TOA Hell. Um, fairly strong overall for a lot of like difficult challenge content. And just a safe unit to have. It's very unique, does a lot of dots compared to everything else. Um, alternatively to the Rika, Bellinus is an option for the same role. If you're looking, um, so let's just go with like mostly PvE stuff first. We'll do the PvE stuff and then we'll look into other things afterwards. So those two are my main pickups for like PvE focus gamer. Um, for water units, it has to go to Bastet. Bastet is by far the most versatile unit. Unbelievably good in all the Rift Dungeons. Unbelievably good in, again, I, I, I bundle our, um, Siege and Guild Wars into the, the PvE side of things. Like the non-RTA con content basically. Um... Second one, I would say for PvE, no PvP, so like non-Guild Wars, non-Siege, maybe Varad, but nowadays Tyron is really good in comparison for CC. Um, I would also consider Poseidon over Varad just because no glancing on skill 3 and AoE slow debuff is really strong. And lastly, I would consider maybe taking bulwark and the reason i'd say maybe taking bulwark is because it's pretty good in very specific toa floors it's very good in very specific siege comps and such like that but it's it's such a unique kit that it's strong um i also think woosaw is also a safe pick the high base speed three turn immunity it's pretty much always a safety pickup um, nowadays we don't need units like teor for dragons we have triple akaru you don't really need any specific units so like super safe i'd probably do these two i think these two are very good very well balanced uh, for wind units, now this is this is a little bit more difficult. Um, this is by far the best unit in the game. Um, unbelievably good in TOA Hell, TOA Hard, really good at Guild Wars and Siege. I think all as well, this is where it becomes a little more finicky for me. This is one of the strongest survivors in the game right now. Um, especially for like TOA Hard, TOA Hell, Guild Wars Siege. It's just very safe and it does full turn revives, or full team revives. Sierra is always a good pickup um lab stage is really really good for pvp focus it's more on the guild wars pvp or the rta side than it is on the um the pve only side but artifacts have made oracles incredible as units this is also a pickup um if you own a, a lucifer you have to put leo on this list if you do not own a lucifer leo is optional very good unique kit um if you care about guild wars offense pung Beck can be really good against the um the miho halfus teams you one shot the Halfus and the Miho dies from the splash damage because it's fixed. Um, Odin is also incredible. Very good Guild Wars Siege option. And then Feng Yan. Feng Yan is really good for safety in, it's honestly a really safe Necro unit. Really, really good in safety for Guild Wars and Siege offense. And then the last unit I would say, some people would say Savannah for PvE stuff. I think Savannah is way more geared to PvP. She works in things like Giants, like I use her in my Giants team, but you definitely don't need her. Um, I think Mephisto is also a, a reasonable option. A uh, unique mechanic of denying revives. Very good for uh, for arena offense. Decent in some Siege offense setups. Decent in some TOA setups too. So those are what I would consider for my my five stars with the, um, the scrolls. 
for me, if I was starting fresh as a new player, I would probably take... I would take this, or I would take this. If it's PvE only, I'd probably take this just for the lab. Uh, speed limit lab stage with Leo is just so nice. That's probably what I would take. Um, in terms of four stars, assuming you're missing everything, uh, for PvE specific content, I would take Garo, and I would probably take... It's, it's a little bit of a tough decision because it's, it's debatable, right? You can take tons of different things that are relevant for different reasons. I like the Garo because it's a unique mechanic set up for pretty much everything, but really, really good for the Akroma stages, and it's going to help you out in Gilders and Siege. I think the second unit I would take nowadays is probably the Astar, just because you can set it up Astar um, with the Triple Akadu teams for Necro. If you're looking for future speed teams, otherwise Kamun is always going to be a safe option. Kamun's incredible. I'm building my third and fourth Kamun. I've put all three Anubis in my own summoning lineup because I want more skill ups. Uh, but yeah, that's probably what I would take. Uh, Fire Twins also viable if you want the Fire Twins. Shina is always going to be a great option here. So for me, it's between Garo, Kamun, Shina, maybe the Maruna if you don't have one yet, and then uh, the Astar. For water units, Water Twins, absolutely incredible still. I use them in my Alunia team for speed teams. I think that this is a pretty good option if you don't have a water chun Li. if you're looking for better teams for rift dungeons um, her skill tier mechanics is very good for rift dungeons um Aker's okay miang's okay galleon's always a nice pickup orion's okay or pve i'd probably still take water twins these days i'd probably still take water twins Water Twins are really good. If you need an Oblivion unit, Hernie's viable. Three turn Oblivion. Pick up skill ups that way. Galleon's always going to be safe. Orion's always going to be safe. There's lots of good options. Lure's actually not bad either, and neither is Julie. But um, with Julie no longer being the Giants meta, she's more of a siege offense unit. And then for Wind, it's always going to be my girl Triana. Triana and Lucian, most likely. Just for quality of life. There's like hardly anything that even compares with those two units in terms of quality of life setup. Um, alternatively, you could pick up something like the Harazvelg or the Amacity if you don't have them. Skogel's also a good pickup, but this is a pretty safe PvE focused setup, and I don't think uh, I think I'd be pretty happy with this if I if I started a new account. Okay, so now let's go over a couple other things. Let's talk about if you are mainly a siege player. If you are mainly a siege player. I think your goal is probably to pick up. So I'm not quite sure with fire because fire, I find finicky. Um, I find fire units really easy to deal with on siege offense or sorry, siege defense. But I think this is a really good pickup because this unit can be difficult with good runes. And I also think that this unit is really good. I think Sekman is really good on offense against the Tyrannus defense setups. However, don't take my word as like a top tier siege player. I don't I don't play siege at the top levels. Um, I just watch and analyze what I know. Um, I think most of siege offense is really easy for siege defense. I don't see a lot of strong defenses coming out with fire units anymore. Sierra, Iris, Ophelia doesn't feel strong anymore. I don't really see much strength in Bellinus. Occasionally, I see the Masha, but I don't see a ton of strength with it. Daphnis is an occasional pickup as well. Um, obviously you can take the Perna. I think that the Leica is a really safe pickup though because it's really strong on offense regardless. Galleon was up, up. Leica is still very, very good, very, very strong. Belladjul, also very strong, very safe offense. Um, for water units, I'm going to say most likely. on. De uh, I think the Bastet setups are still pretty decent. The Kamun Bastet Odin is still strong. Some people are using Figure nowadays. Bastet's still safe on offense as well. Um, and Molong. I really like Molong on offense. Uh, Molong Gani Perna, Molong something is really strong. I use Vampire personally, and it's done really well for me for a long period of time. Uh, I think alternatively, if you don't want to take up those, Bulwark. There's some defenses where Bulwark is free. Wusaw is free pick into offense as well. Um, if you have a Feng Yen, you can do the Feng Yen Amelia setup. Those are super safe. So for me, it's probably these units. Probably these units. And then for this, it has to be Sierra. There's no, there's no doubting Sierra is by far one of the strongest. For offense specifically, I would take the, the Feng Yen. 
for defense, it would be between Tyrannus and Odin, or maybe both. Um, Savannah is definitely a contender there as well, but I think, I think for me it's probably, probably the Tyrannus. I think if you have faster, like faster runes, like your rune quality leans towards faster setup, less so on like the strong, really fat bruiser units. I would probably do Savannah, um, just because you can build the really strong galleon Clara Savannah setup. Otherwise, for me, it's going to be the Tyrannus. I think the Bruiser is better. The Bruiser is incredible. The Violent Procs on that thing are just wild. When it comes to four stars or Siege, I'm going to say you literally can never go wrong with having more Kamoons. Kamoon is absolutely incredible. Absolute god. Uh, Chloe's okay as an option. I'm not really sure who people pick up as their other like fire four star in this situation. Probably just something for skill ups. Whatever you want to skill in particular. I don't think there's anything else that's like... This unit is standardized regular pick. Oh, Clara. I'm crazy. Pick up Clara. Um, or the extra Garo, maybe. For water units, it's probably going to be more galleons. And then something else. I use a lot of Malacca against uh, the four-star towers. So for me, it would be like a third or fourth Malacca can always take more galleons, more malakas. And then for my win teams, it's Triana and I want to say Lucian, but I have tons of Lucians. It depends how many Lucians you have. I have four Lucians already, so I don't think I would need another one. But if not the Lucians, I'd probably take more Anubis skill ups. So you can always double stack for skill ups. Otherwise, maybe another Messity if you're missing that for another Copper Dozer team. But safety down, I could just say Lucian. I think these are pretty, pretty safe pickups. Um, now to go over the tougher one, this is the one that everybody wants to know about, the RTA units. What units should you pick up for RTA? Obviously, this is going to depend on what you have and what you don't have. But I think generic really good picks we can talk about. We can talk about speed leads. Speed leads are incredible. I think Chew is the stronger of the speed leads in the fire setup. Um, if I had to pick two units, assuming you have nothing, and I had to pick two specific units, I would probably take Chiwu and Oki. Chiwu is really strong um, with his buff. He has the... Attack bar reduction on skill 3 and bonus attack bar reduction if you strip buffs. Okeanos with the new artifacts with speed scaling damage are insane. So these two are definitely contenders. Uh, Rika is a good contender for turn 2. A Vanessa, obviously passive speed lead. Veladjul is still an okay contender, but I'm not personally a huge fan of using him anymore. Uh, I feel like Daphnis has mostly fallen out of meta. He is more of a 4-5 pick and less of a 2-3 pick. Still works, but not top tier. Well... Maybe top, maybe saying not top tier is incorrect. He's not a regular, super strong pick. He is a, if it's in the right draft, it's a four span. Um, and I think Masha is also a really good contender. Masha is really, really good. Very strong. Lots of attack bar manipulation, lots of damage. And Bellinus Sekhmet would be my last two honorable mentions. Sekhmet, really good against the Trennis team's reset. Uh, swaps into extra cooldowns, has defense break. And then the Bellinus is like a more damagey version of a Rika. Rika is more of the control variation. So for me, it would have to be Chiwu Masha or Chiwu Okeanos. Oh, and Juno. Cannot forget about Juno. Juno is incredible because of artifacts. Juno is hard counter to a lot of teams nowadays. Definitely worth a pickup. She's my first Snap 5. Love her. She's amazing. Okay. Um, for water units, let's go through water units. So what is relevant in water these days? I would say Bastet's always going to be relevant if you're cleaving. If you're AoE cleaving, Poseidon is a really good pickup for you. Um, Bulwark is a hard counter to some people. It's very, very good hard counter. It's really good in Dantares. It's fairly good into um, Vigor. It's fairly good into the Ragdoll, Arden Bill. I'm going to full sustain teams. So, best two pickups in my opinion. Barbara, because Barbara is OP. A uh, single target strip into attack bar reduction. Defense break skill 2. And probably... Probably Bulwark, um, if not Bastet. Bastet's always a nice pick to have, even if you don't focus Cleave. Um, honorable mentions, Josephine's great for her. Uh, CC Deny, very strong. I think Molong's still pretty good. Amelia's great, obviously. Um, Usa's great. Immunity units are going to be solid for a long time. Samoth is great if you want the speed lead. It's not super common in RTA, but it's still pretty decent for Arena. And maybe Shiho. With the artifact chain, Shiho's decent. Um, 
skill three having six hits is really strong with additional damage. And then, you know, Praha is the safety pick just because oracles are busted right now. But these two are probably the ones I would uh, I would focus on more or less. And for wind, now, this is really hard because we all know wind units are broken overpowered. So Sierra is an undeniable pick for me. Um, I think Sierra is one of the strongest first picks in the meta right now. Unbelievable unit. You literally can't go wrong with taking her. Um, and then the second ones that are going to be toss-ups. So you have units like Hathor or Gany. Um, Gany, I think, is undeniably one of the strongest units in the game due to his skill 2 mechanic not being able to be reset. Um, Hathor, 2 turn sleep, is obviously really strong with the first turn sleep setup. And then you have the tough picks. So you have Savannah, who has Strip, AoE, AoE attack bar pushback, defense break, and self speed buff for the team. You have Tyrannus, um, which I feel is not as strong nowadays. I feel like Tyrannus is slowly becoming too stationary for the meta. I actually wouldn't lean to pick him if your focus is RTA. If your focus is RTA and Guild Wars, I think he's a great pickup, but I just pulled mine, just skilled it, and realized I can't pick this like ever. Um, for me, it feels too slow. Um, and when I say too slow, I don't mean like my room build. I feel like this unit doesn't accelerate the game. And I feel like that's what that's what's really strong nowadays. We don't play games out to 60-70% HP loss. We play games to 30% HP loss because artifacts have increased damage by so much. Um, Odin's a great pickup. Ethna's a super strong pickup right now. 119 base speed. Super fast turn rotation. Steals buffs on skill 3. She is a lot stronger than she was before. With the Beast Riders being out, and especially right now, since a lot of people will be getting Beast Riders from this, Leo is a great alternative option. Um, generally is a four span, and if not a four span, you can build a team with it. And Jamire. I think Jamire is an underrated pick. Speed lead, uh, um, cleanse that also resets cooldowns. It works in a lot of cases, but it has to be invested in. I think it's really good for Guild Wars, Siege, and Arena. Um, Jamire, double, uh, Bastet, Double Lucian, super safe, super strong. So, for me... It's between Hathor, Gani, and Savannah. I think those are the most reputable picks here. Chongpong is also incredible, but I think for Chongpong to work, you have to accept that he is not always going to be super reliable. If he hits, he destroys the enemy, and I think you have to have Chi Rokianos. I don't think you can actually play Chongpong without Chi Rokianos. I don't think it works because you lack the you lack the speedly damage threat setup with the CC. I think it works with maybe one of them, but ideally you really have to have that Okeanos, I feel. Because if you give up too much room with Chongpong, I don't think you can recover fast enough. So, Gany Hathor, Chongpong, Savannah, and Leo is probably the last pick set up. A lot of people will be like, but Diana, why don't you pick Diana? Why don't you pick Triton? It's like, those units, again, I feel are too stationary for the current meta, and I don't think that they're as strong as other ones. Diana's actually fairly good because additional damage by attack is so strong on her, but... I feel like these other units just have so much more pressure. So for me, it's probably going to be, if you don't have any of these units, I think it's going to be probably Gany. I think pick Gany over Hathor nowadays. I think these would be my my six setup. And then for PVE ones, I'm just gonna assume if you're focusing on RTA, you probably have everything, but the RTA units I would use that are four stars would be probably this. Uh, if you have a defense comp, you want to take this. If you need a unique resetter that's fast, you can take the Cichlid. Otherwise, for me, it's probably a safety pick of Shimite just for the speed lead. For water units, I would take Tetra for the Gian and FD setups. And I would most likely take either Covenant for one-shotting Artemils or... I would take Blushin for Beast Rider teams. Blushin's fairly strong right now. And for fire, it's gotta be... Mm, if you're cleaving, take Draco. Fire's hard. Fire's a tough pickup. RTA, what would you take? I actually don't think there's anything I would take here. And Terrors, plus one. And Terrace Garo, maybe? And Terrace Garo. Taking a lot of the unique mechanics, basically. I think this is what I would what I would lock in. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about units you should pick, you know, I have blank, I don't have blank, what do you think I should pick up? Make sure to stop by my stream. I stream every day at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. You can stop by, ask me questions. It doesn't matter what game I'm playing. I could be playing Epic 7, I could be playing Summoners War, I could be playing Hello Kitty 
magical adventure island or something like just come just ask me just say hey these are what i have this is what i'm thinking about buying let me know and it'll work it'll be great um also i want to let you guys know if you do not already use amazon coins um i have a current sponsorship with huawei until the end of november so up until november 30th it is a 25 percent cash back as points um, redemption system so after currency exchanges because you're going to want to be spending in the new zealand store you save about 15 percent overall so the way it works basically is if i buy a 100 dollars pack i get 25 dollars back as points which i can put towards my next pack so if i buy four 100 dollars packs my fifth one will be free if you're looking to buy these scrolls it is a pretty good investment um to like look into savings like this so as again if you have questions about that you can dm me you can leave comments in the video whatever it is just make sure uh, if you are going to dm me just do it while i'm not streaming it's because it's distracting and stuff but I wish you guys the best of luck with your SWC scrolls, and I look forward to hearing about some great things. If you want me to summon for you as well, you can hit me up. Uh, my email's below, or you can just message me on Discord. Peace, guys.